it is so this is a demonstration of access 2013 forms and subforms and we will also be able to show you how we can make use of calculated fields in the subform uh, and embed it also into the orders form. So what we can see here, first of all, is our two simple data uh, data sheets or records, if you like, in a table format. Order details and orders. The relationship between the two are one to many. So orders to order details, one order could contain several products. That's what it is, so one to many. And the fields in the orders, as you can see, the primary key is all. <coughs> Employee uh, is the other field, customer, order date, shipping date, and so on. There are other fields that you're not going to use, but the four or five things we're going to use are order ID, employee, customer, order date. Uh, those are the four things we're going to use on our main form. So the one side will contain the main form, which is the orders form. And on the many side, we'll have the order details form. And in this case, the ID is the primary key, uh, which relates to the order details. And order ID is the foreign key. Uh, so the details, so that's how they're linked. So we got to make sure in our data uh, field that order ID has the same data type as the order ID in the primary key, as a foreign key in the order details, has this, is the same data type as the order ID in the orders detail. Otherwise, you won't be able to link. So this is the basic fundamental of creating form and subform. You need to be able to <coughs> uh, have a referential in integrity, good referential integrity between the two, good relationship, if you like. So let's get cracking with the form and subform. So in order to do the subform, uh, we need to go to create, select the box form wizard, the icon form wizard, and here orders is going to be our main form, so, uh, and we're going to include certain fields, in the, the four fields that we discussed in the main form. So we'll include the order ID, just by clicking the arrow there, employee, customer, order date. Right. The next thing, before we click next, the other things we want to include in our field, in our forms, is the order details, the many side. So here we're going to use the ID, order ID, product, quantity, unit price, and discount. The rest we don't need to use for this demonstration purpose. So quantity, unit price, and discount. Uh, this will do. Now once we have done that, once we are sure we've included, just in case, We've included status ID, we can always get rid of that by using the less than field, less than button here. So click on next, and which is the outside part, and the sub form, which is the inside part. So we're going to do the calculated field here and transfer the calculation onto there. So just make sure that these forms with sub forms are checked and that we're going to do it by orders, not by order detail, but by orders. So select next. And here, try to make sure that it's selected as data sheet. Information is presented better on a data sheet in this case. We're going to be uh, modifying the form design once we open it, because we, we got to be able to see it and view it correctly. So we'll get rid of the order soft form. We'll uh, just shorten the name because we're going to make references to the order soft form in the orders form. Okay, and that will make sense in a minute. So just select finish and this is what we see. So as I said that we're going to modify this detail. So let's just reduce this for a moment and reduce this field so we can increase the size of the form so that we are able to present the data properly. And this one, you want to increase the size, otherwise you won't be able to show all the details on the screen. Um, increase it on that side, okay. So now this is done. Um, let's just see, let's just view the orders form, uh, see how it 
is showing. So before you view, just click on save and then right click again and select view, form view. And on the form view, we can see the data that, are co that is coming up. So we, s we can see the information <coughs> at the moment is playing up, uh, not responding. Yeah, it's coming up there. So we can see the details here. Um, it's clearer here. I can just show you, if I guess navigate through each of the orders. Order 32, order ID 32, order ID 33 has got two orders, has got one order, one order, one order. We're more interested in orders which are combined. So we look at three orders here, two orders for 43. Um, so we want to be able to multiply quantity and the unit price, quantity and the unit price for the second item and also the third item and add them together and have the subtotal presented on the main form. This is our aim. In order to do that, we've got to do this in two stages. First, create we will use a text box to create a calculated field with simple expression using a sum function in the subform and then in the main reference to the calculated field we created in the subform text box. So let's just do that. So the first stage is to play, is to work with the subform. So let's just save this. We already saved it. So let's just open up subform design view so this is our subform and we can view this as it is uh, we'll see where we sort of uh, now sort of progress along each order item individually and uh, it's not grouped so the subform is not grouped so let's just design this in a design view right click and then design view now we want to include the calculated field in the form footer so how do we do that? We do that by embedding a text box, which is here, text box. So bring that over to here, and then place the expression in the text box itself. So we'll call it sum, open bracket, and then to make references to the field quantity and unit price, we type quantity in square bracket multiplied by again square bracket unit price close square bracket and then close it with the open bracket here so we now embedded an expression in the subform with the quantity and the price which will calculate and multiply the two together and the next thing we need to do is uh, click on the text box again and change the name name of the uh, text box so that we can make references to it in the main form so let's just change the name to total total price and you can copy it into clipboard so that uh, we don't have to type it in again for the main form <clears throat> so now if we save this and view it again there's one thing that's going to be different from the previous time it's going to show the total the grand total of all the unit cost of the unit price and the cost with the quantity which is not what we want to display so it doesn't show the group progressing through each of the record one by one and it doesn't show any difference or groups and but that will we will solve that problem by embedding the calculated total into the main form. So let's go back to the main form. We can close this if we like, save it and close. Okay, let's open up the order form again, but uh, design view. Now in the design view, again we need to, as I said before, we need to have a text field where we can make references to this text field we created total price in here which we copied into clipboard <coughs> so to, to embed a text box in here again we go to design view click on text box and then pull this through here uh, let's just do that again text box
Okay, it's done there. I'm having a little bit of difficulty there. And you, I'm sure you face the same sort of problem. And this a while because it's going to be a uh, not complicated formula, but we're going to use here, we're going to use access convention and keywords to make that reference, as you can see here. So here we'll click capital left, um, sorry, square bracket and name of the order form because access needs to know which which uh, form to get that text field order sub form it doesn't matter about the cap cases but let's just keep it consistent sub form and then full stop and then square and then type form square bracket again and in this case, if you can't see it, but it's a uh, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <clears throat> and in the exclamation mark, after the exclamation mark, square bracket again, and name of the text field that you can paste, because we copied it, if you can remember. And that will do. So while we're here, we're going to name this as subtotal. So we can name it subtotal here. Let me just to the left a bit and then type subtotal and that will do. Um, we need to increase the size of the sub form so that information displays correctly. I didn't do that in the previous section there. So now that we are done, we save the work. Hopefully, our data, the the uh, subtotal, will be displayed. So when we view, we can see the subtotal. One thing I've forgotten to do is to format the text box so that it represents the uh, the dollar sign, the currency field. So let's just go back again. Oops. Design view. So in order to do the formatting, again click on it and then look for the format uh, field. <coughs> so this is where the format is. Select the format and we're going to see, sorry you can't, let me just extend this. Ah, there it is. So we're going to choose the currency format. and. This is now embedded as a currency format. Now we can save the field and form view, and we'll see the currency displayed for each of the orders. So you can see, if you just take my word for it, and we calculate the two together, you will get the total amount. Do your own calculation. Uh, this one is easy 127, 12.75 times 10 gives you. But the group one, as you can see, also, so we'll get the easy one. Ah, there. The group one is easy. 10 times 250, 220, 920 all added together. Uh, 92 added together. Sorry, 92 added to all of that. Um, so I'm going to go back. I'm not going to show you in the video, but extend this sub form. Widen it so that it displays the discount if there was any. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope to see you next time. Thank you.